If you fancy yourself a dog lover and want to turn your fondness into a lucrative side hustle, then you've come to the right place. Starting a profitable dog walking business is without a doubt one of the best ways to do it. Really, this is one small business idea that requires very little initial investment, and the ongoing expenses associated with it are pretty small. Just a word of caution though, you don't want to get into this line of work unless you have a genuine connection with animals. You can't expect to thrive as a dog walker if you don't at least have some experience with caring for and handling canines. While you might assume that dog walking is a walk in the park, pun intended, it does come with its own unique set of challenges. Multitasking and knowing how to manage multiple dogs in public is critical. But if you're up to these challenges, here's how you can get started. The basics. If your aim is to start a successful dog walking business, you should ideally live in a neighborhood with a lot of dog owners. It also doesn't hurt if that neighborhood happens to be on the wealthier side. Your clients should be within walking distance of your home as well. Although, you could potentially drive, but that wouldn't be nearly as efficient unless you manage to build up a client base in one specific location. Your goal should be to walk multiple dogs at a time. It's common for dog walkers to work with as many as four dogs at once. When you're first getting started, however, it might be best to limit yourself to just two dogs per walk so you can get used to the process as you increase your client base. Get incorporated. Legally speaking, you don't need any kind of license or certification to become a dog walker. That being said, by getting incorporated as an LLC, you'll be doing yourself a huge favor when it comes to tax season. Additionally, you'll be taking on substantially less risk as a small business owner. But you don't necessarily need to worry about getting a business license until after you've established yourself a bit and have a good feel for your operations. You can wait until you have a thriving dog walking business before you get incorporated. In fact, many people start doing this casually before creating a legitimate business. However, keep in mind that creating an official business will undoubtedly help you land more clients. While dog walking certifications aren't necessary, they can provide you a level of legitimacy that gives clients confidence in hiring you. Furthermore, an official website and social media pages can help you spread the word and make you look like a dog walking professional that dog owners would feel more comfortable in trusting their pets with. Don't sell yourself short. Pricing is going to depend on a few factors, namely how long you'll be walking the dogs, how much other dog walkers are charging in your area, and what type, if any, of additional services you offer. Generally speaking, for a 30 minute walk, you should be charging about $20 while an hour-long walk should be priced somewhere around $30. Again though, this is where market research comes into play. If dog walkers in your area are charging substantially more or less than the figures we just mentioned, you'd be wise to adjust your rates accordingly. Supplies and expenses. Dog owners should already have most of the things you need to walk their pets. But even so, it's not a bad idea to invest in a few extra leashes, collars, and doggy cleanup bags for emergencies. You may also want to invest in a variety of dog treats, which will surely come in handy throughout your dog walking career. If you get real serious about your dog walking biz, you may want to consider insurance too. This comes in handy if any of your client's dogs end up getting injured under your watch. The most common kind of injury is an attack from another dog. And while you should work hard to familiarize yourself with the needs and cues of your client's animals, accidents can happen. And again, this is just one more layer of professionalism that gives clients confidence in your services. Fortunately, dog walking insurance is pretty affordable. It should only cost you somewhere between $200 and $300 a year for all of the coverage you'll need. Marketing yourself. Even though you could probably do quite well for yourself simply by printing up a few flyers and posting them around town, your best bet is to advertise on social media platforms and digital marketplaces. Create a dedicated social media page for your business that incorporates all of the information your clients will want to know. Tell them about your experience, your rates, and any other services you might offer, such as grooming or pet sitting. And last but not least, don't forget to provide all of your contact information. The bottom line. Dog walking is an incredibly lucrative side hustle, but it's not for everyone, especially if you don't like animals. But if you think you got what it takes to handle several dogs at a time, then you should definitely give this business a try. A dedicated dog walker could make up to $40,000 a year just walking dogs. And even if you only do it part time, you can still easily make $500 to $1,000 a month while getting in some good exercise in the process. For an easier side hustle, check out this video on mobile apps that will pay you for doing practically nothing. We'll see you in the next video.